The purpose of this video is to find replacement parts for the Harvestrite Premier uh, vacuum pump. As of the date of this taping, Harvestrite does not offer any rebuild kits or parts for the Premier pump. I went through the uh, internet and I searched and I searched and I searched and I finally found a pump that comes really close to the Premier pump and that pump is a NAVVAC pump. And so I contacted NAVVAC and talked to them about it. We took some measurements and did some other detailed uh, investigations. And I finally got to the point where I felt comfortable in ordering a rebuild kit. And this is what they sent me. It was a, it's virtually was in a Ziploc bag. And this is part number you may not be able to see it, but in Nancy Kilo Roger-12 Delta. Uh, it's for their 12D vacuum pump. And if we open this up, we'll see what parts are inside. Now, the first thing you'll see is the vacuum mist filter. And this was like the dead ringer of why I was looking at this particular pump because if you take a look at this versus this well they're pretty much the same in fact they're exactly the same except this is pretty orange and this is pretty black so we got a good matchup on the oil mist filter and I was feeling very optimistic well and then I'm looking at these other parts that we have inside here and that's where the optimism started to fade. Uh, one of the parts that made me feel really good is this part right here. This is the gasket, which is very, very important if you take this apart. And here's the gasket for the Premier pump. Still feeling somewhat optimistic. And the same thing with the secondary vein. This is the secondary vein for NAVVAC. And this is the secondary vein for still feeling really good but then where everything was absolutely shattered was on the primary veins this is the primary vein for the premier pump and this is a primary vein for the nav back pump totally different and that's where everything started going downhill and then looking at all these other parts and the coupler and other things well they are so different. These other parts are absolutely useless. And I think I paid about $168 for the rebuild kit. And I was able only to use just a few parts. We're going to have a close-up look at, at the NAVVAC parts compared to the Premier pump to see how well they, they really work. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to rebuild my Premier pump using as many NAVVAC parts as possible. We're going to take a look at the NAVVAC pump. At first glance, you'd think the NAVVAC pump is exactly like the Harvest Right pump, but it's not the same. It comes down to this, if it looks like a duck and it quacks like a duck, it's, but it's not the Harvest Right Premier pump. It's a whole other animal. There, there's a lot of similarities between the Premier pump and the NAVVAC pump, and we're going to take a look at these. At a side-by-side -side comparison, they're almost a dead ringer, but there are some similarities and there's some big differences here. First of all, let's take a look at the cost. The NAVVAC pump is $1,170 retail, where the cost of the Harvest Right pump is $795. As we go through this, these specifications, you can see the dimensions are exactly the same. 6.3 inches by 6 inches by 12.1 inches a dead ringer for both of them and also the weights are exactly the same at 32 pounds if you take a look at the filters the the mist filter they're exactly the same although they do vary in color and then the body style is almost the same the premier pump and the navvac pump virtually have the same creases the same venting everything is the same except for the side glass 
but this is where the similarities pretty much end. If you take a look at the internal workings, the actual pump itself is almost identical to the premier pump, but even the internal workings of the actual pump itself is different between the NAVVAC and the premier pump. So as you can see, as far as replacement parts are concerned, the oil mist filter is exactly the same and can be used for the premier pump. The, the NAVVAC part number is a P012005 and the list price is around $45 and this does not include shipping and taxes. The second stage veins are exactly a match. The part number for these is a P012006-2. However, the cost is $117. Now there's also one other problem with this. You have to buy the entire rebuild kit to get the second stage veins. They're not sold separately. So for the price of $117 plus freight and taxes, you can get all the parts that we're going to be reviewing, not just the veins themselves. Now this is one of the good parts about the replacement parts. The gasket is exactly the same. And the NAVVAC part number for that is a P012008 and the cost is only $15 plus shipping and taxes, of course. So if you do have to take your premier pump apart, at least you do have access to the gasket, which can be very important, especially if your gasket gets ripped. The greatest problems that we're going to face in rebuilding the premier pump is the first stage veins. The first stage veins are not the same between the NAVVEC pump and the Harvest Right pump. They will not work. Without these, the complete rebuild is going to be insufficient. But I am still looking to see if there is a source for the first stage veins. If you look at the pressure release spring right there on the Premier pump, the NAVVAC pump is longer and it is, has a greater diameter and will not work. If you take a look at the coupling, the NAVVAC coupling is totally different from the Harvest Right coupling and will not work. And then you have all the other gaskets. We're going to take a look at these separately. But the gasket that goes over the bearing will not work. The sight glass gasket will not work. And the cover housing gasket will not work. Total different shape. If we take a look at the front bushing, there is some good news and some bad news. Now these are all three parts of the front bushing assembly. We have the O-ring that fits inside this little bit of a taper, and then we have this washer which appears to be more of a shim for the bottom part of the bushing. Bushings are available that are exactly the same dimensions as far as height, width, and diameter but there's some modifications have to be made. Now, if you take a look at this picture right here, we have the bushing right here, and then we have this washer that actually acts as a spacer. The, the available bushing will also work. One thing to note in the replacement bushing for the Premier pump is if you take a look at the length of the bushing plus this, the thickness of the washer, those two thicknesses comes up to 12 millimeters, which is exactly the same length as the bushing, but a few little modifications have to be considered. The top of the bushing needs to be beveled, and this can be, be done with a countersink or with a large drill bit to create the same surface as the original bushing to accept the O-ring. The bushing can be purchased from bronzebushings.com for $5.39. However, there is, I believe, a $20 minimum, so we end up having to buy about four of these, and that could be a problem, but if you need the part, that's the only choice we have. To give you an idea of how the three parts kind of go together, up here we have the washer, which basically acts as a shim, then we have the bushing itself, and then we have the O-ring.
So when everything is compressed by putting the coupler on the end of the shaft, then you have the washer, the bushing. What you can't see is O-ring down inside here, which is basically now compressed. So the new arrangement no longer uses this washer, but just uses the bushing. And then you can see where the O-ring would go, which would be compressed to help prevent any oil leaks coming down the shaft from the pump itself. The inner and outer sill is not a problem to acquire. They can be found at just about any store that sells bearings and sills. They are $4.84 and $6.37. And the part number is basically the dimensions of the sill. In case of the inner sill, it's 16 millimeters by 30 millimeters by 7 millimeters. The outer sill is 17 millimeters by 35 millimeters by 7 millimeters. Pretty simple. But I also have the bearing numbers right there in case you need that. Out of all the wear parts that are used in the Premier pump, we can get just about everything except for one critical part. We can't get the primary or the first stage veins, but we can get the second stage, the gaskets, the sills, the inner and the outer, and the bushings. If you want to get NAVVAC parts, you can just go to their website, which is navvacglobal.com. Come up here, it just says where to buy. Click that, and you'll have a field down here to put your zip code. It'll give you a list of distributors where you can buy these parts. The biggest problem we have is we cannot get the primary veins for the premier pump. So I have the measurements right here. I have the measurements here in inches and I also have them in metric. So the length is 1.134 inches or 28.8 millimeters. On the width, we have 34 millimeters and on the thickness, we have 5.9 millimeters. The thickness and the width are extremely critical. There's no fudge factor on that. The length, because these veins can compress in on each other using these springs, you can go plus or minus a few millimeters without any problems. We can't do that with the thickness and the width. Now, in the rebuild kit, NAVVAC does not have this particular part right here. This is the front bushing for the shaft. I could not find this same part anywhere. However, I was able to find a bushing the same size, same size, shape, dimension, except on the on the premier pump there's a tapered seat right here this one did not so i virtually had to get a drill a 5 8 drill and actually drill the, the face of the brass bushing to create the be the beveled face that would then compress this little o-ring right here so this o-ring goes right inside the bushing like so and i'll show you some better pictures here in a moment and then the top of the coupler comes down and compresses the o-ring the purpose of this o-ring is to keep oils from coming down the shaft and leaking into the motor on the other side of the pump so what we're going to do we're going to take a look at all these uh, different parts and see which ones will work out and then i'm going to rebuild my premier pump with all the replacement parts and we're going to see how well that works to see if this is something that's even worth doing. But in the meantime, I'm communicating with Harvest Right to see if they will contact their manufacturer to see if they will supply replacement parts for the Premier pump. If Harvest Right can do this, then all this is for nothing, and I'd be very, very happy about it. So if you ever have an opportunity to talk to Harvest Right, you know, give them the good old encouragement to supply parts to the Premier Pump. I have installed the NAVVAC secondary veins inside this piece here, so that piece is done. Now, in this front assembly, we have a seal that's inside here, and this is the seal I pulled out. The seals are fairly simple to find because you just have to go by their box measurement. And this sill right here had an outside diameter 
of 30 millimeters, the inside diameter was 17 millimeters, the thickness is 7 millimeters. So the sill is a simple part to get, no problems on that. So I'm going to go ahead and install the new sills here and also on the front. The inner sill goes inside this little hole here. This was the original one and I pretty much messed it up taking it out. So this outside circumference right here is 35 millimeters and then the shaft right here is 17 millimeters. So basically I just got a simple uh, 17 by 35 millimeters by 7 millimeter seal. Pretty simple to find. So this is just going to go inside this cavity right here. I can almost press it in with my fingers. In fact, I can. So just like that, and that will go on top of the shaft here. Just like that. Everything is assembled. I'm just putting the oil back into the machine. And we're going to start it up here and see how all these replacement parts worked. Now, I can tell you these replacement parts are probably going to work just fine for the short term. What the real test is going to be is for the long term. So what I'll probably end up doing is running this machine for quite some time without an oil change and then taking an oil analysis of the oil to see if I have any metal part, you know, fine metal particulate. For example, do I have any brass shavings in the oil that came from the new bushings that I installed? So I'll probably have to do that, but that's going to take some time to do. Everything's back together again. I have my micron gauge up here. I'm going to turn that on. And I have my new uh, orange and black Halloween style uh, mist breather filter. And we're at ready to do this. So here we go. I don't know if you can see this, but we're at 97, 93, 92, 87, Millator, 82 Millator. We'll see how far down this thing will get. I'm going to leave this running for a while to see how far down we can get. Right now I'm at 31 Millator. So we're going to review the parts that I replaced out of this particular Premier pump. So we, we replaced two sills. We replaced this bushing right here. And because we went with a larger bushing, we also replaced this washer. And we replaced the secondary veins. We replaced the gasket. We replaced the oil mist filter. Just kind of looking around to see what other parts did we replace. I think that's all the parts that we replaced in this particular rebuild. These are all the parts we replaced in the rebuild. I was a little bit disappointed that we could not replace the primary veins. I'm going to continue to look for those and if those out in YouTube land have a source for veins and pump parts, I'll show you a slide that shows all the measurements and if you could find a replacement part that'd be wonderful. So right now we're at 28 Millator. I think that's pretty darn good but we'll have to see how long I can maintain this pump before we have a potential fail. So with that said, I wish everyone well and Harvest Right. If you're watching this video, please check with your manufacturer and see if they will make replacement parts available through Harvest Right that will allow the hundreds of thousands of freeze dryers to maintain and rebuild and replace parts as needed in the Premier Pump. The Premier Pump is a great pump, but we just need the parts to do it so we don't have to scour the world and scour the in internet piecemeal to find parts to replace. So anyway, I wish you well. I hope you learned something in this video. It was kind of technical, 
maybe a little bit on the boring side, but something that needed to be done. So, I wish you well. Go forth and freeze dry the world, and I'll send you another video soon.